There's nothing like it in the world of professional bowling. Yes, that's right, that's right. The PBA League. 12 teams made up of the world's greatest bowlers. Each trying to capture the Elias Cup. Tonight, it's the divisional finals with Kyle Troop, Chris Prather, and the defending champion, Portland Lumberjacks, going up against Sean Rash, Dick Allen, and lead newcomers, the Bruce City Ballers. And later, Norm Duke, Bill O'Neill, and two-time champion, Dallas, take on Andrew Anderson, A.J. Johnson, and the Las Vegas High Rollers, who will capture the 2020 Elias Cup. The PBA League continues right now here on FS1. We are just 20 miles from Washington, D.C. This week, Bolero Centerville in Virginia is home to the PBA Tour. And tonight, we bring you the PBA League Divisional Finals. Four teams are left. By night's end, we'll be down to two. We start tonight with the Anthony Division Finals. Name for legend, Earl Anthony. Defending Elias Cup champ Portland takes on expansion, Bruce City. And in the Carter Division Finals in honor of Don Carter. Two-time PBA League champ Dallas, led by Norm Duke. Face off for the expansion, Las Vegas. It's Baker, format bowling. The race to two. Two game wins. Takes the match a 1-1 one -one tie. Needs a one-ball roll-off until we have a winner. Now, let's meet the bowlers and managers. Portland Lumberjacks. <laughs> Defending Elias Cup champs. Let's meet the Portland Lumberjacks. He is a member of the 2015 National Championship team at Wichita State, Packy Henrahan. A two-time Steve Nagy Sportsmanship Award winner, Martin Larson. With three PBA Tour victories, including the 2020 Tournament of Champions, he is an Elias Cup champion, Chris Prather. He owns five PBA Tour titles and a share of the current Elias Cup, Kyle Troop. A 10-time PBA champion and U.S. Open winner, Wes Malott. The Portland Lumberjacks are managed by three-time World Amateur Bowler of the Year, Tim Mack. Let's meet the Bruce City Ballers. Bruce City Ballers. And the roller gets it! Wait, fall! We're ready to throw down in the PBA League. He secured Ireland's first ever medal in World Championship competition, Chris Sloan. The 2013 USBC Open Championships winner, Zeke Bates. He owns seven career PBA Tour titles, two-time Elias Cup champion, Dick Allen. An eight-time PBA titleist and U.S. Open champion, Ryan Simonelli. He is a 15-time PBA champion with two major titles, Sean Rash. The Bruce City Ballers are managed by the Medford Meteor PBA Hall of Famer, Marshall Holman. It is time, Boeing fans, to determine the divisional championship tonight here in San Luis Virginia at PBA League. Welcome back, Elias Cup Bowling. We can't wait. Dave Ryan alongside Randy Peterson, my Hall of Fame broadcast partner, joined by Kimberly Pressler throughout the broadcast as well. 
Always RP, a big theme in team sports, defending a championship. Portland got the bye in the divisional semifinals. Cruise by LAX, so far so good. Yeah, I mean, it, it was uh, really a walkthrough for their opening match against LAX. LAX didn't even post a 200 game. So Portland really hasn't been tested at all. And we're going to certainly find out if that's going to happen to them tonight. But they're so solid from top to bottom, starting with the pro with the pro. There's Martin Larson. But I think the brightest spot for this team is that young man right there. Packy Hanrahan was a perfect four for four, for four in their opening round. And of course, you got the big nasty anchoring that solid Portland team. Easy win for Big West and Portland. Bruce City, not so easy, Randy, at all. A couple of roll-off wins for the Ballers. Bruce City Ballers sounds like something that would be really hard to say after you've had too many brews. But you know what? This team is scary. Uh, when it looked like they were left for dead, they go to a roll-off, and they ask their anchor bowler, Sean Rash, to step up. In the opening match, he did just that. And then in their second matchup against Motown, EJ Tackett is a forfeit. Sean Rash comes through again, and they move on. Oh, and by the way, there's their manager, Marshall Holman. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday to you, to the Medford Meteor, Sean Rash. His final warm-ups tonight. Every Boeing fan ready, watching right now, wants one thing from you, a prediction for tonight for our first match. You know, I, I think uh, I think all the good vibes in the Zen is still with the Portland Lumberjacks, um, and I think they're just I, I think they're going to make it all the way to the finals. I think they're going to get get past Bruce City. We can't wait. Odds are now live at Fox Bet and available in Pennsylvania, and Colorado, for entertainment purposes in all other states on a money line bet. Portland minus two hundred, Bruce City at plus one fifty. When we come back to the PBA League, it is Divisional Championship Tuesday. We crown the winners of the Anthony and Carter Divisions to create the final two teams left standing. Who will it be? Stay with us on FS1 to find out. The PBA on FS1 is brought to you by Go Bowling. For promotional offers, tips to improve your game, news or to locate a bowling center near you, log on to GoBowling.com. By Light Life, the official plant-based burger partner for the PBA. At Light Life, our passion is making great-tasting plant-based food with simple, clean ingredients. And by Guaranteed Rate. Mortgage rates are historically low. Save money at Rate.com today. What a matchup tonight in Centerville, Virginia. Anthony Division Finals. Portland, Bruce City, head-to-head. -head. Kimberly joined by two big stars. I sure am. Thanks, Dave. So, Sean, let's start with you. You know what? You've been instrumental over the past two nights helping to secure wins for your teams. But tonight might actually be your biggest test because you are taking on Portland. They're the defending champions, and they are a stacked powerhouse of a team. How do you guys stop them? Well, it's a team effort. And we're stacked with a pretty good damn team too, Kimberly. And uh, we have great chemistry. That team over there is great as well. But uh, we do our job. Things take care of itself. We wish them all the best. But our team's pretty good too. Well, it's worked well for you so far. Thank you so much and good luck Thanks. to you. So Kyle, you heard what Sean had to say. But a lot of people have said that you guys are the team to beat. So how are you guys handling the pressure of defending the title? Yeah, you know, we are. We're accepting the pressure. You know, we, we want that pressure, you know, because we know that we are the defending champs. We bowled really well in the qualifying. Uh, you know, we're a confidence team. You're going to work together, teamwork and chemistry, like Sean said. I think that's one of the strongest things about their team, but I think ours is a little bit better, so we're going to bring the cup home. All right. Good luck to you guys tonight. Thank you. All right, 42 feet of Mark Roth. And for this pattern here, well, the players are going to get in, and they're going to throw it to these zones down lane. Same on the left. If the lefties, Packy Hanran, you're going to see him hook it. And so it's going to be kind of the same thing on that side. Watch for Simonelli and Sean Rash to both go fairly straight from the outside. Lineups tonight as we get set for the two seed against the four seed in the Anthony Division Finals of the eighth PBA League. Larson, Packy, Troop, Prather, West Malott. Wow. Some serious talent. Chris Prather has kind of quietly just been perfect so far one of the top players in the pba tour 
And we are bowling at Baker format, and that's where multiple players combine to uh, bowl one game, and that's why you saw the frames. One and six for Martin Larson. Who gets us started. And nice back. He's been Way solid to too, hasn't he? Way to go, man. Yeah, he's, he's, go. he's done real nice. He had one open that's frame for him right there, in their brother. opener, but other than right that, there. solid. Keep making good ones here, brother. Dick Allen, one and six. Zeke Bait, two, seven. And all the way down to Sean Rash, he'll bowl the fifth and tenth frame. That anchor position is extremely important. As is the leadoff for Dick Allen. Ball 10 of the pit, great start, Bruce City. Uh, last night's round and then the strike here. Dick Allen is a perfect five for five. Yes. Packy Hanrahan. Go, 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 go. Dick Lefty, you bet. Yeah, baby, yeah. Randy talked about how boy. fabulous he has bowled for the Lumberjacks, a PBA yeah, league I rookie. Think, yeah, Packy has missed. not missed, and he is an Elias Cup rookie. Race to two. If it's one game each, a one ball roll off, we'll keep going until we have a winner. Here's Zeke Bay. Some loft and all 10 in the pit as he shreds the rack. And Zeke, another rookie and new to the Elias Cup. He bowled nice last night, just couldn't knock anything over. And then remember the sarcastic thank you when he finally got his first strike. Talking to the pins. Well, the pins had no answer there, did they? Here is the pro with the fro. Top troop, mm. four pin, pretty good shot. Run it over, run it over, no blood, come on. Fair it up. Drifts just a pinch high and leaves the four pin. This matchup here might be fairly high scoring. And the lanes are so conducive to good scores. 12 here pro. Moving up or no? Taylorsville, North Carolina. Former star on the PBA Tour, got the troop. Chris Sloan, Swords Ireland native, and his number so far. There's a couple of opens in there. Bruce City had to play in the divisional quarterfinals. As we talked about top of the broadcast, Portland had a bye to the semis. Oh, yes! Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Hey, hey. Great shot. Great shot. Interesting in both teams going with the exact same lineups they used last night. I guess when, when you are successful, you don't mess with success, right? Yeah, if it's not broke. I wouldn't if I were the managers. No question. It's not broke. Chris Prather. Bright young star, PBA Tour, maybe the brightest right now. You can make that conversation. Strikes again. Good job, brother. Good job. Follow it up, boss. Seminelli. All 10 into the pit for the former Lumberjack who won it last year at Portland. Shot. Great shot. I think Ryan wanted to stick with Portland, but you can only detect three players. Oh, so right here. expansion draft pick of Bruce City and Marshall Holman, team manager. Just Bruce think City there might be some extra motivation there for Ryan Simonelli. <laughs> West Milan, one of three protected, along with Chris oh, Prather and Kyle good. True. And he strikes. Good job, brother. Good job. Good start, 18 good to start, 3. You can see the numbers right there. Perfect start. Brood City front four. Uh oh. Go up by 21. He didn't like it. That's why. 3 on, 6 right 10 now, stand. Right now, right now. 
Three, six, ten. The easiest way to make this is throwing a straight ball and covering all three pins with the bowling ball. Just get that ball just to the right of the three pin, and it'll deflect into the six and the ten. Some tour average on that right. spare conversion, right, and Rash cover. takes on, care of business. We got you, we got you. Good cover. Midway point, game one, race to two. Anthony Division Finals underway for the PBA League here in Centerville, Virginia. Packy, Hanrahan, and company. Head to head with Sloan and the Ballers. More great bowling on the way. You're watching the PBA League on FS1. Anthony. Division good, final, good. race to two, game Second one. Guys, let's go. Second half. After the He's front four from, from here, Bruce Martin. City, the expansion team, an eight pin lead. Larson to lead it off. The second half of our opening match. Dallas, Las Vegas still to come to determine the Carter Division Championship later tonight. Trip 10. Yeah, yeah big throw. carry there. That's a Kicking a go, 10 man. out on that double to, to take the lead. That's nice to see. Watch this, six pin, second to the right. Catches enough of that 10 pin. And that was a big time strike when they needed it. You heard team manager Tim Mack so pumped up after Larson shot out of the break. Not easy. Nick Allen, lead off bowler, Bruce City. Answers. Dick Allen, in, former man. MVP on, of the Come league a few years great back. Now he's moved up to the leadoff position. He's doing a great job for Marshall Holman and his crew. How tough is it, hearing again, great shot at commercial from the coaches and players. How hard is it to concentrate out of the commercial break when you're on TV? It, it's just the fact that, that you've been waiting. Oh, no. You've been waiting longer than normal. So shot. you get you get it's easy to get out of rhythm. Eight pin here for Packy. I think he did this last night. Yeah, man, that was pretty good right there. Where the ball was perfectly flush in the pocket and it rides right by the eight pin. Watch this, right by it. And that's what all that power and revolutions will do. At times, it's too much. All right, Pack. Hanrahan takes care of it. Good pitch. He is the second Packy in his family. Dad is also back. I know you're asking him before. Yeah. Yeah. The match night about that. Both nicknamed Packy, and, and nobody knows the origin. It's or awesome. at least or at least Patrick doesn't. That's the best part of the story. I know, no one right? knows where it came from. Zeke Payne. I mean, I could tell you why they call me my nickname. The only problem is I, I can't tell you my nickname on the air. After the show. Okay. <laughs> Bait, seven frame. Good shot, 10 pin. Man. Great shot. I don't think Zeke has missed the pocket in every one of his attempts throughout this competition. And his carry has stunk. Could have given Bruce City the lead. Cross lane, 10 pin, got it. Tim Mack, what are you seeing out there? What's going on? Well, Randy, it's clear to me that both teams got really good shots to the pocket. And it's, uh, again, you got to have to have really great angles here. Mar Kyle's going to have to make a good move here. Um, and we're hopeful that he can uh, put a strike to get us going here for the finish of the game. But clearly, you got to have good e angles to strike today. Thank you, Tim. There it is. And this turns the rack, Randy. Wow, that was impressive. Yeah, and the angles that Tim's talking about is the angle through the front part of the lane as the players are projecting the ball towards the pins. And that time, it looks like Kyle may have given it a little bit more room to the right, and that ball set up perfectly. Now, no matter what Bruce City does, they cannot shut out the Lumberjacks. Back to Sloan, 26 years old, eighth year pro from Ireland. He liked it. Kicks out the 10. 
Great shot. Great shot. Going to make the Lumberjacks show up here late. This will be a really good finish. Little kick save and a beauty on the 10 right there. You pumped the Lightning won the Stanley Cup? Florida guy. No, I'm not a Tampa Bay Lightning guy. Okay. Let's try to connect the two. I understand. No, I mean, that. it makes sense. It's just, yeah, it's just not me. I'm, I mean, I'm happy for him. Prather. Oh! Oh! Across the deck for the 10. Oh! Down it goes. Man, I'll tell you what, nothing like good clean living for Chris Prather as he gets the massive messenger to come across and take the 10 out. The clean break of the game brought to you by Light Life. Light Life is the official plant-based burger partner for the PBA at Light Life. Our passion is making great tasting plant-based food with simple, clean ingredients. That was special. Simonelli did strike while we were doing that bit. Baker format, it's fast bowling. Hey, we, we have to take care of our sponsors. Absolutely. This coming down to the wire. West Malott strikes out. It's over. Anything less, Sean Rash can get up in the 10th and win game one. Reigning MVP. PBA League. Big West Malott. There's one. Oh, hey, hey. That a boy. Another one like that. Another one like that. Another good one. One at a time, one at a time. So this is what happens when players are bowling on friction and they keep the hand up the back of the bowling ball. I want you to watch this ball change direction. My producer just said he thought this was going high. So it looks like it's going to overhook and then all of a sudden it just writes itself right into the 1-3 pocket. Needs two for the win. In game one, race the two, Baker bowling. Needs another. Oh. Wow, good shot with a 10 pin. So we're going right to have over. an interesting finish here. Ooh. It's a Keep good shot. One. One. Oh, good. Now, if West Malott spares here, Sean Rash will need two strikes in the 10th frame to win game one. Man, good shot. Oh, I, good I'm job. looking right, back at, at, right. the, at the solid 8 pin that Packy. Left. All right, hey, good shots, man. I'll good shots. It. That's all we can do. Nothing wrong with that. We'll take that. Great pitch. Force him a double, and that's all we can do. Sean Rash, Rash takes a re-rack. Yeah, Sean Rash has bailed him out yeah, um, in both their rounds. The roll-off against uh, Danielle McCune. Miami Waves. And, and then the muscle. Last night against the muscle when EJ Tackett went four pin. We showed you in the video highlight at the top of the show. Must strike. Needs two, looks for the first, has it! A shot. 60 Good feet one. to successful oh Rash as he Take blasts breath, through shot. that one routine, three baby. Got to your routine. One more, great shot, great shot. He's taking another re-rack. Gonna take his time. Beautiful. <sighs> The lines underneath the team names on your scoreboard there. Thank you, Randy. Indicate the amount of re-racks, so the ballers have used there two. Two remaining for Portland. Take time, boss. Take time. Sean All right, come on. Get comfortable. really take his time here. Huge shot. Do you like the idea of the double re-rack? I like whatever makes the player comfortable and feel good about the next shot he's going to throw. If that's what he needed to do, then so be it. Here it is. Needs it. Ten pin. Oh. It was a great shot from Rash. My shot. goodness. But not enough. Wes left yeah, one on a strike on in the tenth. Right, Sean leaves by one by on a strike in the tenth. They're going to lose by one. Uh, How about that coming down to, right. Hey. Right. to the tenth hey, frame? Leave it there. Leave it there. Game one by a stick. To the Lumberjacks. 247, 246. Both players, both anchor players leave vicious ringing tens. This one costs Sean Rash and the Ballers game one.
Game one complete. High drama in Centerville, Randy. Lumberjacks take the first game. Game two, all the way. Sunday on Fox, it's a star-studded showdown in Big D. As Baker Mayfield and the Browns take on Dak, Zeke, and the Cowboys. Or you can catch the Giants versus the Rams. Check your local listings for the game in your area or watch on the Fox Sports app. Go Rams! Rams 2-1. and one. Giants winless. Yeah, the Rams cut a huge break against Dallas in the opener and then gave it right back against Buffalo in a very questionable pass interference call there towards the end of the game. Take your time. All day, take your time. Martin Larson starts game two. Kimberly, the world's biggest Bills fan, might have a thing or two to say about your contention of that P.I. call. Larson. Pump, pump, temp in. Marshall Holman, Randy Peterson here in the booth, looking at specto numbers in the 10th frame for Sean Rash. It's basically telling me he aced the second shot, but left the ring 10. What do you tell your team after that? We bowled a great game. We just have to keep on keeping on. You know, this team's got great heart, like I told you yesterday. And I've got confidence in them as I watch my boy, Rick. Nicky yeah, yeah. Allen is the strike. We're proud of ourselves. We did what we, we, did what we had to do as far yeah, as making great nice shots that first out. game. They beat us by a pin. Let's win this game and go into a roll off. Thank you, Marsh. Thank you. Happy birthday right, to Marshall Holman. It'd be pretty awesome if his ballers could give him a birthday present of a victory here in the Anthony Divisional Finals. Hacky Hanrahan steps up. Whoa. Right, Three, six, seven. Go to work. That tells me that ball's done. The 367. Hacky will try to get the ball to the right side of the three pin and then just cut that three pin over into the seven. The ball will take out the six on the way by. First time I think he's missed the pocket in this competition. Oh, Can't convert, loses count. And the ballers look to take advantage here. Not sure if that was just a bad shot or if he missed it off of his hand, I couldn't tell. Zeke Bate looks for his fifth strike of the competition and a 24-pin lead for Bruce City. It's a big shot. Here's Bate. Oh Almost my. a 7-10, 7, ten, seven stance. Like I know. You like that pen? He had that the same shot yesterday, second frame. Run it down. Yeah. Run it down. Run it down. Yeah, he almost did this or did this exact same thing yesterday where he almost left the pocket 7-10 and good news is no 10 pin. Opportunity missed for Bruce City. <laughs> I've seen that shot before yeah. Zeke. No spare ball. Talked about lane conditions being favorable for hooking on, into the corner pins, the seven and the ten. Wait, you have a little friction to the right for the right-handers and some oil in the middle of the lane, and and so, you know, that's kind of an open invitation to throw a little curve at it if you want. Blue City has been here before. Two roll-off victories to get this far. Got true. <laughs> Does it. Good Again, job, good job, baby. Good job. for Portland. What about that? Good job. Hey, Tim Mack, what happened on that shot with Packy? He got, Randy, he got a little bit firm. He made a move and he got a little bit firm and it went, uh, went past it. We changed balls after practice and now we're going to go back to the other ball in this lane. So we're hopeful that uh, this other ball is going to read it a little bit better for him and his speed is going to be a little bit better. Thank you, Tim. Chris Sloan. Oh, my. Watch out. All right. 
Get some count. Get some count. Right, get Four, three. six, seven, nine, ten. A lot of wood up. Still soft there? Hey, you heard Sean Rash say soft and right, and that's a bad combination on this pattern. So he got the ball too far to the right with softer speed, and that caused the ball to hook heavy through the nose. The Greek church now standing in front of this young man right here. Marshall wanted him to get count. He does get the three. 4 7 stand for the Greek church leave. Is that slow? And just like that, Portland already up one game yeah, to none. Right. Has a three-pin lead. Come on, Shark. Forward. Oh, baby, yeah. Yeah. Wide range of emotions on the shot from Prater. Looked like a lot of trouble, then a little trouble, yeah, then all 10 down. Yeah, we know. Well, I think the real, the, the real good stuff is about to happen right here in front of you. That trip four. And then Chris comes back and relays the intel to Wes Malott and the rest of the team, telling him exactly the move he made from the left lane. Simonelli is a fast operator. He steps up there and strikes again. Nothing but solid for the former Lumberjack. It looks pretty focused against his X team, doesn't it? Come on, big fella. Reset. Ryan recently announcing his retirement from the PBA Tour. He's going to be home full time with his family, work yeah, in South tape, Carolina. Pal. Take your time, brother. Malat's got to take some tape out of the thumb. We got all day, boss, all day. See your shot, make your commitment, and let's go, all right? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Great advice from manager Tim Mack. You know, he was getting ready to go, and then Sean stepped up and was doing something on that ball return to the left. Hey, Lance, right here, West big backed right here, off, man. went back up on the approach, and then came off again and finally took a piece of tape out. Here's Big Russ. There's a strike. Good work. Good work. 23 pin right, lead right for away. Portland. Right no move at all, right? Perfect. Try rolling. Really got to go. That's he perfect. said he didn't move right at all. Right. He just tried rolling it. And the Big Nasty rolled this one perfectly. And the Lumberjacks now have three in a row. Rash trying to respond. Bruce right. City, yes. Trip 10, strike, Sean Rash. Big shot, big shot. Come on, come on. Come on. Big shot going into commercial. The defending champs are up by 13. Halfway through game two, it's do or die for the Bruce City Ballers. Lots more to come. Stay with us. Portland won game one by one pin, 247-246. And now game two looking good. Let's take a look at our Go Bowling Elias Cup flashback. April of 2018, Bayside Bowl, Portland, Maine. The Silver Lake Adam Splitters knocked off the Hitman. Two games to not win their third. PBA Elias Cup also won in 2014-2015. Got by Brooklyn, Motown, and the Hitman in the championship. Adam Splitters made up of Jesper Svensson, Dick Allen, A.J. Johnson, Tom Doherty, the Hall of Famer, legendary Chris Barnes. I mean, that is a scene. At Bay <laughs> I've got to get up to Bayside. You've never been. No, in Portland, oh, Maine. Man. I've been to Portland, Maine. Beautiful city, great town. You've never seen anything like it until you've been to Charlie Mitchell's place. place. Everyone up there is watching right now. And I promise you, yeah, they're, they are uh, tuned in right now, rooting for this team right here. See you next year, right? Next year. One good one here. Best one of the day right now. Let's go. Best one of the day, let's go. This is a big shot now for Martin Larson because this keeps the string going and maintains a 23 pin lead if he strikes here right out of commercial. Uh oh, lead off, Portland, terrible. Look out, no legs. No legs. 3-10 split. Yeah, and that's the 
Fit it in there. Come on, buddy. That's Gotta the growing pains of the commercial break when players sit that long. And I mean, that was just a tug left, and it had no chance of holding line. Now, this could be disastrous if Martin doesn't convert the 310, the baby split. Oh, that's good that's good it. Good no good worries for Martin good Larson. Fight. Good, fight. good fight, good fight, good fight. That's a big okay. shot. Make the shot, make, 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 make committed to it, all right? Spare the game, brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Mortgage rates are historically low. Save money at rate.com today. Baby split 310, all good Martin Larson. And he did it exactly the way you draw it up. He covered both pins with the bowling ball. Now Dick Allen trying to close to within one. Top of the ball lineup. Need Week some 10. help. Rich! Not on yeah. the 10. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. That little soft 10 that Dick Allen just left, and it infuriated him. He didn't like the way he threw it. And that was a big opportunity missed. Hold me back up, guys. He's Come on. Still Come on, my bad, my bad. No bad. I like that one off your Good hand. stroke, good stroke, Dick. Young star, Packy Hanrahan steps up. Remember last time up for Packy was an open frame in the second when he left the 3 6 7. Yeah, that's right. That, that's why we switched. Good job, baby. Great move. Yeah, switch balls and it works. Way to trust it. Way to trust it. You heard manager Tim Mack say, yeah, that's why we switched balls. Living on the edge, that tacky. See it? Go. Tim Mack See, has go. said it throughout the PBA league that Packy has bowled like a number one pick, and he really comes through there as he crushes that one-two pocket. Zeke Bate. Every shot huge now for the ballers. All 10 back. Yeah, Zeke. No seven, no we do. No seven, we do. No Another no quality no shot, shot by Zeke. This time Great he shot. actually Great carries shot. 10. Zeke's got a nice simple game with plenty of power to get it done. Not a lot of moving parts in that swing. Big shot now, working on a strike. Kyle Troop, eighth frame. To put Portland up by 22. Go. Go, you go bet. baby, yeah! a boy. Way to go, kid. Way to go, kid. Way to go. Way to boy. Way to boy. Way to go. Way to take your time out there. Gorgeous shot here, six pin, second to the right, just snapping the head right off of the 10 pin. I didn't move either, guys, but that wasn't my best shot. So. Did you hear him just say that? I, yeah. don't, know, I, I don't know, guys, that, uh, I, I, I liked it, but it wasn't my best shot. Looked good from here, Kyle. Chris Numbers Sloan. Numbers for Sloan. Oh, boy. All right, on the spare. Hey, Big on trouble here. now. A lot of game left on four. Big, big trouble. Good news, they're working on right a now. strike. Bad news, they were working on a strike. And that's the bucket. Two, four, five, eight. Greek Church now the bucket. Sloan struggles. And things are not looking good for Bruce City this late. Having lost the first game by one pin. Lots of cover. Does it. Really nice conversion. Never know. You got a break. You got a break somewhere. Well, this is not a textbook uh, on how to cover the bucket, but uh, this was very fortunate. Watch this. He almost misses the two pin, cuts it just enough to send the five going backwards into the eight. He's definitely moving. 22. Foundation frame time here, Randy. You're right. Big shot for Prater. 22 can increase to 32. He'll do just that, Chris yeah. Prather. Yeah! Out of boy, comfort move. Way to roll it. Hey, comes Black through. Jack at the bottom, bro. For the defending champs. Roll the piss out of him. Way to go, baby. Way to go.
Max score for Bruce City, 212. The Lumberjacks are in the 220s right now. Zibinelli has just been blistering the rack time and time again. Another strike for Bruce City, but will it be enough is the question. As we head now to the anchor bowlers. Best one of the day right here, kid. One time. Only a mark needed for Big West Milan and Portland to shut out the ballers in advance to the 2020 PBA League Championship match. It's tomorrow night. West Milan steps up yeah! and delivers. Portland is off to the championship match to defend its title. The Lumberjacks take Good care job, of the boys. ballers. Good job. Two Good straight. Way to work. Way to, way to stay trusted to. Good job. Good job. Good job. West Milan's pillow is yeah, cool baby. on yeah, both sides, yeah. brother, because he just stepped go, up baby. and aced it to take his team to the finals once again. I wonder what Charlie Mitchell and the, the crew are doing over at, uh, over at the Bowling Center there in Portland. Celebrating right now. Air Fives. One of our biggest themes. Uh, I just want you to know, you're on our minds, bud. We love you. Good luck tomorrow morning. We'll shout, see you soon, bud. Shout out to Dell Ballard. Jr. Yep, shout out to Dell Ballard, Jr. In Texas. Big Hello, shout out to Dell. Medical procedure tomorrow. Yep. Charlie Mitchell, Bayside Bowl. Get the gang ready for tomorrow night. <laughs> Championship match, 7 Eastern here in FS1. We will crown a PBA League champion. Hey man. And the anti division yeah, champs are the 2019 champs. Lumberjacks and manager Tim Mack. Do it again. Timmy, tell us how you're feeling right about now. I'm pretty excited, man. I got to be honest with you. These boys got it done, man. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully, everybody up in Bayside of Portland, Maine is excited. Ready to go. We got a chance to defend our cup. We're in the final. It's, it's a great feeling. Guys did great. All these guys, great job. Hey, congratulations to you and your team. Fantastic, man. Thanks, Randy. Appreciate you. It's the return of the match. One pin win in game one. All right, man. Game two, not as close. And the Lumberjacks sweep Bruce City out of the PBA League in the Anthony Division Championship match. Pro with a fro. Chris Prather. Too much for expansion, hey, Bruce City. Baby, They'll play for the title yeah, tomorrow. The <laughs> one match down, one to go at Bolero Centerville in Virginia. Quick drive from DC. Champion Anthony Division. It's Portland. Kimberly joined by the winners. I sure am, and they were super excited over the break. They are heading to the championship match for tomorrow night. And, Packy, let's talk to you. You are the rookie. Last night you had a stellar night. You know, you had strikes all in last night. But tonight you struggled a little bit and then came through for your team. So what has this experience been like for you so far? Uh, it's been great for me so far. You know, I get to bowl with a bunch of friends. And even when I'm struggling, they can pick me up, help me find the right move, and find the right ball to choose. Now, Wes, you guys were challenged in that first match. You only won by one, but you took this one as well, and now you guys are heading to the championship. What does this win mean for you guys and mentally moving on to tomorrow? Well, Kimberly, I mean, this, this win's huge. This gets us to the finals, and uh, I can tell you personally and, and probably for everybody standing here, we all want to defend this, this title in Portland where we won and where we should be. Uh, but unfortunately, with circumstances the way they are, uh, it, it's put us in this position, so we need to do that. And to add to that, I, I had a little uh, little chat to Dell there. I just wanted to make sure that the Dell knows we're all we're all behind him. Uh, I got a little choked up there uh, before I threw the shots, and uh, I just want him to know we love him, we're with him, and we wish him the best tomorrow morning. Dell, we do wish you the best, and congratulations. You guys are now moving on to the championship match. You've earned it. Thanks, Here we go. 12 teams were down to three. Portland will take on the winner of match two tonight, the Carter Division Finals between Dallas and Las Vegas. Now let's meet the bowlers and managers.
ready to strike. Two time, Elias Cup champ. It's a winner! Dallas Striker. Let's meet the Dallas Strikers. He owns three PBA regional titles, Brad Miller. A three-time member of Team USA, Nick Pate. A 12-time PBA champion with two majors, Bill O'Neill. He is a record four-time Elias Cup champion, 20 career PBA titles with two majors, PBA year, and PBA Hall of Famer, Tommy Jones. The Dallas Strikers player manager is a two-time Elias Cup champion with 40 career PBA board titles and seven career majors. Norm Hoop. Here are your Las Vegas High Rollers. Vegas High Rollers. Ready to roll some high numbers in the PBA League. What do you want, Quinn? Let's go! The 10 time Venezuelan Player of the Year, Ildemaro Ruiz. The six time member of Team USA, AJ Johnson. An 11 time member of Team England with one PBA Tour victory, Richie Teets. The 2018 USBC Masters Champion with two PBA Tour titles, Andrew Anderson. He owns four PBA Tour titles with two majors, Francois Lavoie. The Las Vegas High Rollers are managed by PBA Hall of Famer Amleto Monticelli. We look forward now, Randy Peterson, to the Carter Division Finals. Dallas, the first round by, looked good against Phoenix in their match. No problem there. Las Vegas has not lost the game in two matches, 4-0. How do you best assess? Well, uh, on paper, Dallas is the stronger team. You know, anytime you can pair uh, Bill O'Neill and Tommy Jones with a Norm Duke, um, they're going to be a, a formidable opponent. And then add Brad Miller and Nick Pate, who both pulled, pulled pretty nice in, in their uh, in their opening session. Remember, uh, they shot 267, 258, and swept uh, in the opening semis for them. Uh, very nice job. They hit the pocket a boatload. TJ was 3 of 4, Brad 3 of 4, Pate 3 of 4, Bill O'Neill was a perfect 4 for 4. That match against the Phoenix Fury wasn't even close, and so now we find them in the division the fit in the, the division oh, finals. Man, that was hard to say. That's why you're only there. Maybe it's because I saw Norm Duke bowling in the video. The high rollers, man, they really surprised a lot of people, I think, in this event. Rhino, I mean, uh, it, this is an expansion team yeah. with some new players that are no. PBA League rookies yes, with Hildemaro Ruiz and Richie Tees, but they've, yeah. they've yeah. come together you nicely, and I think Let's a lot go. of it has to do with that man right there, A.J. Johnson, and yeah, keeping Richie. his team pumped yes, up. Sir. He's a lead off of that team. He's kind of the fire plug and the motivational spark plug that they need. So, um, again, on paper, Dallas Stryker is much stronger, but... And it, it's Las Vegas high rollers, and we'll see if Lady Luck is still on their side. Odds, Randy, are live now at Fox Bet, available in Pennsylvania and Colorado, and for entertainment purposes in all other states, strikers minus 150, and the high rollers a plus 110. When we come back to Centerville, time to determine the Carter Division champion. We know Portland is in tomorrow's championship match. Who joins them? Find out next on FS1.
What a matchup coming up. Carter Divisional Finals. Dallas, Vegas. Back to Kimberly. All right, AJ, as the leadoff bowler of your team, you actually set the tone of the matches, and you've been able to do that thus far in bowling and with your emotions. So how much has that helped your team? Uh, they've asked me early on uh, to set that bar, um, and I think it's really played into, into the tone of the matches, and uh, it seemed to work really well, and they keep asking me to do it, so I'm going to keep delivering. Well, it's worked well for you. Good luck. Thank you. And Norm, it cannot be easy to be both the manager and a player on a team, but uh, you seem to thrive in that role. You've won this twice. How do you make it look so easy? Well, typically, I'm bowling in the one-two spot, so I have plenty of time to make decisions. But this week, they're like, no, Norm, you're going last. So now I'm having them manage the team, and I'm playing more of a player role. And you know what? I've been a player all my life. I love it. That's what I do. All right. Well, good luck to you guys. Thank you. Interesting answer from Norm Duke. Yeah, used to be in the top of the lineup. Thanks, Kimberly, for that. But now the anchor bowler. Good to hear from AJ and Norm. Dallas lineup. Randy, what do you think? So his guys decided Norm was going to go last? Okay. All right. Well, hey, listen, Tommy Jones leading off. You got Nick Pate third. And your anchor bowler, Norm Duke. Remember, Baker format where multiple players join together to bowl a complete game. And each player will take two frames each. Tommy gets one and six. Tommy Jones starts us off the Hall of Famer. Multi Wait for it. Elias Cup oh. champ new. No. Short pin. All right, one down. Hey, you know what I'm going to do during the break? What's that? I'm going to go home and practice practicing division finals to get ready for next year. It's not easy to say. Division finals. You'll be just fine. Thanks. Appreciate, <laughs> appreciate you, buddy. Cross lane, 10 pin. Tommy Jones. Got it. Come on, boys. That was my bad. That wasn't very good. That's my bad. Come on, pick me up. So as Kimberly talked about with AJ, the bar setter for this Las Vegas team is the leadoff bowler, first and sixth frame. See if we can continue this excellence here at the top of the lineup for Vegas and take advantage of the nine spare from Jones. Drops in. Oh, just like I said, baby, let's go. Come on, fellas. He's backing it up, Randy. Well, you know what, uh, what really gets a team fired up is how you perform. And AJ's done a really nice job in that leadoff position, throwing a lot of strikes and, and getting his team kind of excited to back it up. Brad Miller, world's biggest Chiefs fan, pumped up for the... KC win over the Ravens last night. Oh boy. All right, run down. Come on. Run down. Shot. Leaves a lot. Now, the problem with the 3 6 9 10 is that back pin, but this oil pattern is going to make this a little bit easier. But basically, what Brad is going to try to do is get his bowling ball to hook into the 3 6 so he can cover that back pin. Sixty-six percent tour average to make this spare. Miller try to cover. Does it? Big mark. Right, good, job. good job. Yeah, that was a good spare. Not good spare. the good easiest uh, out of way. Out of way. Out of way. to try to convert, but on this whole pattern, you know, you've got a little bit of that friction to the right, and it definitely helps to keep the ball on the lane. Longtime Venezuelan champion. Lomano Ruiz steps up. His number so far, we heard him speaking Spanish a moment ago with team manager Camilo Monicelli. Do it. Top of the strategy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I still don't know what that means. He's been fun to watch the entire PBA league. I love it. Yeah, he's been rolling it nicely, hasn't he? No let up. No let up. Do it. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know what that means. 
It means I'm awesome, and we're awesome. Here's Nick Pate. Bowers have the option of taking off the mask on the approach only. Nick will keep it on. That's right. Yeah, good shot there by Nick. Anyway. All right, Billy, follow that cap. Nick Pate rolls up his hand up the back of that bowling ball as well as anybody out on tour, and then that's what gets it to slow down the change of direction off the end of the oil pattern. Nice, nicely done there by Nick Pate. Now remember, we talked about follow-throughs with Richie Teese. Watch how his follow-through goes to the right. Well, it was a very interesting breakdown last night. Be right. Play off. Stop. Whoa. All right, Three all right, all right. Three right. Three, six, ten. All right, same deal except no That's nine over. pin, which makes this significantly easier to shoot than what really Brad Miller was shooting at. Hi, right, bro. Spare it up. Hey, take your time. Run spare down here. Come on. Great spare. Just outside Pick London, England. Pick me up. Uh, they don't call this guy the real deal for nothing, Rhino. A strike here, and he will make this a one pin game. Cool customer, smooth operator, unassuming. And really good. And a really good Hall of Fame to be. Good shot, 10 pin for Bill. Wow. Was really good. Make the spare now. Things stay tight. First half, first game. Race the two. Two games gets you a victory. Take on Portland tomorrow night for the PBA League Championship. Well, we've seen our fair share of 10 pins throughout this competition, haven't we? And part of the reason why is because the players really don't have much trouble hitting the pocket. Good shot, Billy. Good shot, buddy. Good shot. Right, my bad. Shot right oh, in come this. on, Norman. Hey. Good shot. I got you. Andrew Anderson stepping up, former player of the year. Trying to get back to his winning ways after some injuries and some other issues. Nice shot there by Andrew. Andrew and Lavoie swapping a couple times in the 4-5 spot in the lineup for Las Vegas. It's interesting to see what Hamleto Monticelli had in mind for his anchor spot in this one. Anchor bowler, Dallas player manager, the legend Norm Duke, Hall of Famer, Trip Tampin. Numbers for Lavoie. My roller is a chance to go up 21 pins here. Two time US Open champ. Press yeah. wall, Lavoie. Yeah. Yeah. You Press bet. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Good frames, boys. Good frames. Come on. Frankie Lavoie with a straight flush. In the fifth frame to double up for the Las Vegas High Rollers. You're watching the PBA on FS1. Hey, junior bowlers, want to start your journey as a pro? Head to PBA.com to sign up for all the new PBA Junior Club. Join now for access to exclusive PBA content, discounted tournament entry, smart scholarship awards, official merchandise, and so much more. Dave, in case you were wondering or even thinking about it, I think you're a little too old for for, uh, for that. I was neither for PBA wondering junior. nor thinking about it. For but PBA Junior, I think you're too old for that. Thank you for the clarification. Always looking out for me, buddy. I appreciate uh, always, you. man. You're, you're my guy. You know that. <laughs> All right. Second half. Game one. Race the two. Tommy Jones misses no the pocket. That was really fast, and it never right, right went to the right. 
Fair enough, Austin. Two, I, seven, eight. I think the, the players that have had the most success on this oil pattern had steeper angles through the front, a little bit slower ball speed, and really had their hands up the back of the bowling ball to blend out the dry and the oil. Four-time Elias Cup champ, it's a record. 2016, 17, 14, and 13. Lot to cover here, including the double wood. Successful spare for Tommy Jones. Yeah. Former Mark Long MVP award winner in PBA so League. Good shot. Think. If you're going to throw it that hard, you got to get it all the way over there. Look at the numbers for Johnson. Near perfect. There's the high rollers. Got by Brooklyn. Got by top seeded Philadelphia. Now taking on Dallas in the Carter Division Finals. Former high school quarterback, great athlete, Johnson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another yeah. strike. Uh -uh. Let's go. Tommy Jones, what's happening with you and your team and struggling a bit just to get to the pocket on that right lane? They feel like they're a little bit different tonight, and, but we can't, uh, we're having a hard time deciding if our ball's hooking to the front and kind of bailing or if it's, uh, you know, if they're just hooking more in general. So, you know, we'll see what happens here. We're going to make a couple adjustments down the line. Thank you, Tommy. From Lee Summit for Missouri, Brad Miller. Right. Nice break there, trip at the 4 9, but right. it might be a little too, a, too little too late for Dallas. They still haven't doubled yet. They're clean, but have not doubled. And Las Vegas is in the 220s. High rollers with Gizamaro Ruiz. Go for a four-bagger here. And a try for a 41-pin lead. Be right. Be right. Do it. Get over it. All right. All right. Hey, good shot, Marlo. Good shot. Good well, shot, that's bro. good for Dallas because they can strike out and shoot 236. And the last thing they need is for the high rollers to continue stringing strikes. And this gives them a little bit, uh, uh, a, a small glimmer of hope moving forward into the eighth frame. Can we get shot here? But I think to have any chance, Dallas needs to strike out. Great He's got it. Great spare. Great spare. Good shot. Good shot. Make the move. Be aggressive. Right. Right. See it. Do it. Come on. Let's go, baby. Up oh, steps Nick Pate. Numbers for Nick so far. Second seated strikers after the seed round 12 games here a couple days back Pate ball reaction all 10 into the pit for Pate well I mean this can get interesting now especially if O'Neal strikes in the ninth frame for the Dallas strikers and Las Vegas gives them a little bit of an opening it's 20 pins now and this is going to come down to the ninth and 10th. PBA League rookie expansion, high rollers. Here's Richie Tees. And he shot a big shot now. Oh! <laughs> There's the emotion and energy from Tees. Wow. Yeah, it was a nice shot by Richie Tees. Walks its way right into the one three. And I <laughs> uh, love it. That was that's, fantastic. That's tremendous. Need it, got to have it. O'Neill gets, gets it. it. And cuts it to a 10 pin huh. game. Now it's going to get really interesting because. Hey, nobody better here. All right, Andrew Anderson shot. stepping up here. Yeah, He's been aces for the high rollers. But if he goes ring 10 here, we could have a possibility of a tie. 
If he strikes here, we can still have a possibility of a tie. Uh -oh. Anderson, wow, yeah. that's high and leaves a three pin. Could have been a lot worse. Yep. Yeah. For Vegas. All right, with a spare, you can see the max score there. Nice break kicking the 10 out late. But here's the max score right there for both teams. Three pin takes care of the mark. All right, well, I moved and I got it there quick and uh, it wasn't the right idea. So he said he moved, which means he moved his feet to the left and he got it there quick, meaning he got it to the right too early and that's why the ball overhooked and went through the nose. Anchor bowler, Hall of Fame legend, Norm Pitt. Whoa, big four through the nose. Right. A huge miss. Well, Norm did the exact same thing, only he leaves the big four, but he got it there early. You could hear Tommy right behind him saying, lay yeah, off, lay right. off. And there was no chance of that ball listening to Tommy. Right through the schnoz and the big four standing. Game one's going to go to the Las Vegas high rollers. All right. Okay. Oh, my bad. anchor bowler, game one. We'll see if Amleto Monticelli will keep the lineup the same. He flip flopped Anderson. And Lavoie yesterday, divisional semifinals. What could have been if Norm struck out? Right. Wow. 210 there. Shocking. But this one mathematically over. Four seeded Las Vegas will win game one in the race to two. Trying to join Portland in the championship match tomorrow night at 7 Eastern here at FS1. Nice conversion. For Francois Lavoie. Never doubt, never doubt. So, hey, if you're going to do that, though, give me one, okay? Oh, yeah. But when I, I definitely, when I threw my shot on that lane, yeah. I, I made sure that I got it right. Okay. And, it, and I forced it. Oh, okay. So, so you're going to go one left, maybe? That was quite a practice. split conversion yeah. okay. for Frankie. You have to remember or show that. The match is over. Well, the game is over. Yeah. And Lamar will finish it out. High rollers win game one, race to two. 224, 196. One more game win, and Vegas is headed to the championship match with A.J. Johnson, who's been amazing in the leadoff role. It's like your leadoff hitter in baseball hitting a home run every time. This guy's been fabulous. All right, Randy, lineup change for Dallas. Bill O'Neill's going to anchor Dallas. Norm Duke moves into the fourth spot. Tommy Jones, Brad Miller, Nick Pape will remain the same. I like that move. And anytime you can put Bill O'Neill in the anchor position, I think that's a good play. Tommy Jones, talk about the lineup change and what adjustments you'll make in this next do or die game for the Dallas Strikers. Yeah, we're gonna swap, uh, we're gonna swap Billy and Norm. Billy's bar actually looks uh, a little bit better than Norm's tonight. Um, you know, we're just gonna have to go out and bowl a better game. We didn't bowl a very good game, let them get off to a good start. When you got guys that don't have that much experience on TV, if they get off to a good start, they're pretty good. Tommy, why aren't you anchoring? I mean, we're used to seeing you in that anchor position and uh, having tremendous success at that spot. Well, you know, we've, uh, I hadn't been bowling a ton, to be honest, and uh, you know the other guys' bar reaction are a little bit better, so I'm trying to blend them a little bit, and uh, Billy's been bowling, he's pretty sharp, so he's uh, he's on the bottom. That's the good thing about having three guys that are probably gonna be, uh, you know, Billy will be Hall of Fame eligible very soon. All right, Tommy, thanks. Good luck in this next game. Honest answer from Tommy Jones. Hall of Famer, O'Neill, future Hall of Famer. Championship match tomorrow night. Here on FS1, 7 Eastern, also streaming on the Fox Sports app. We know Portland, champs of the Anthony division, are in to the title match. Who joins them? Expansion Las Vegas would like to be the one to do so by winning game two, which is now underway. 
Get away! See, I like that because it looks like he created some more angle through the front part of the lane. So as the ball does travel to the right, it's picking the dry part of the lane up later. Change with Vegas as well. Yeah, Francois Lavoie and Andrew Anderson have swapped places fourth and fifth. Now Andrew will anchor the team, on, and they buddy. did that yeah. last night. We watched it and it worked for him. So your thoughts on both moves, you like them? Yes, I do. Here comes your power hitter in the leadoff role. Near perfect so far, A.J. Johnson. Right. Not this time to a double wood. I'm wondering if it's that lane, if that right lane may be a little tricky. I also like to point out that at age 28, A.J. Johnson is way too young to have any gray in his beard. Yeah, it looks like there's a little hang spot on that right lane. You can see uh, either he's either got to get it farther right or he's got to throw it slower. Third year player, as you see, PBA League. Champ in 2018. Great number one. Got it. All right, all right. All right, my bad, guys. My bad. We got you, bro. My fault. Come on, come on. Yeah. What do you think? I didn't get that once. Two yeah. slot, Brad Miller. Clean so far, no open frames. Trying to continue that trend. Oh. Seven All right. pin. All right, shot, All right. All right. Brad. Shot off. Right well, up. Dallas needs somebody to step up here in this do or die mm -hmm. game. Otherwise, they're going to be eliminated. Vegas will move on to both the Lumberjacks in the finals, but somebody needs to step up on this team and lay some foundation work down so the rest of the team can start stringing some strikes and even up this match. Second year, PBA League, both for the strikers, right. and Miller takes care of the seven pin. Millions of kids nationwide are without their normal access to sports and play due to COVID-19. That's why Fox Sports has teamed up with good sports to restore play for kids and the community organizations that serve them through donations of brand new sports equipment. You can also help keep kids in the game by donating to restore play. Visit goodsports.org to learn more. Luis, you bet. Way to pick me up. Way to pick me up. Great shot. All right, Richie, you see it? All right, bro. We've all changed it. Ten time Venezuelan player of the year, that man right there. I'll tell you what, I've never seen him throw it better than he has in this competition. Really? That's the it's just been incredible. Honestly, I think his game is as good as I've ever seen it. Lifelong friends with Amleto Marcelli and his family from Barquisimento, Venezuela. Hey, from Minnesota. All right. He's a 10 pin. All right, awesome. A little too forward of of rotation on that bowling ball as it hit the pins. It, it really rolled out before it got to the 1-3 pocket and just not enough to bump that 10 out. Heads off set to grab his preferred spare ball here. The PBA League rookie. I'm gonna set you up, buddy. Let's go. All right. Cross lane, 10 pin, no problem for Nick Payne. Remember last night, the Dallas Strikers in their match against the Fury, 267, 258. They start this match with 196, and they don't have a double for three frames in game two. Same team, vastly different result from night to night. And the high rollers, Randy, want to take advantage of that. Here's Tease. What do you say? Go up oh. 11. Oh. Ooh. 6 10. Right. That's good. That's good. Come on. Keep it up. Come on, come hey, on. Run it down. Run it down. Hi, bro. All right. Come on. Stay that up, looked bro. like a pretty good shot, and it overreacted. So I'm starting to see or starting to get a feeling that this right lane is real wet, dry. So if the players get it to the 
to the right too early, it's going to go high just like that shot. If they don't get it right enough, it's going to go light. And, and that makes for a, a demanding oil pattern where the players have to figure out a way to blend that oil pattern out, blend that wet dry out. Oh, hey. Great spin. Great spin. Just gotta touch it, man. That's all you gotta do. A little uncertainty there from Richard T. Uh, and he, he made, he made it with no sweat. No problem. All right, Norm Duke. Lineup change in our Baker Bowen format. No split. Nine pin. All right, run down. Oh, this could have been disastrous. Norm bumps that four pin into the nine, and luckily the four goes. That was a little sketchy. Mm -hmm. All right. Love it. Keep working. All right. I love it. Come on, Billy. Keep working. Down by two here are the Dallas Strikers, and here comes Frankie Lavoie. Vegas up one game to none. Anchor bowler. Yeah! Back and forth with Anderson. Lavoie strikes. Off your field ball, what you do? And the high roller is looking very good, Randy, right now. Crossed a couple of boards there, but you notice how far to the right he got it. Frankie with a little lower rev rate, and his ball didn't pick up immediately. That ball reaction was a little bit smoother. Now, the man that just moved to the anchor position, Bill O'Neill. Strikers work on the spare from Duke, and that's high, and the four pin. On, Everything but fall down for Bill O'Neill. I don't have a very good feeling about what's going on in the Dallas Strikers camp right now. One strike through five frames. He's got the mark. But the second seeded strikers are down three. Here comes Vegas, fifth frame for Anderson. His team works on a strike. Chance for a 13 pin lead. Heading into the halfway point break. Vegas needs it. Vegas gets it. Get some of that. What a huge break that was to double up fourth and fifth frame and increase the lead to 13. Listen to this reaction from Andre Anderson. Oh! When he let go, he said, do the right thing. Not that I ever did the right thing when I was in Las Vegas, but these Las Vegas high rollers are certainly doing the right thing. Up one game to none, just doubled up. They've got a 13 pin advantage. Halfway through game two, can Las Vegas high roll their way to the finals? The PBA on FS1 is brought to you by Go Bowling. For promotional offers, tips to improve your game, news or to locate a bowling center near you, log on to GoBowling.com. By Light Light, the official plant-based burger partner for the PBA. At Light Life, our passion is making great-tasting plant-based food with simple, clean ingredients. And by Guaranteed Rate. Mortgage rates are historically low. Save money at rate.com today. The online graphics you see on our show, including the ball tracer, are courtesy of Clutch Bowling. Yeah, special thanks to Kendall and Jeffrey, who work uh, tireless hours out here along with Brett Hi, Tommy, let's go. Chain and Bobby up. from Specto, on, we've Tommy. got some of the Everybody best ball. minds and equipment to register numbers in the business. Special thanks to those guys. They work real hard. All right, Randy, second half, game two, first game to Vegas. Speaking of clutch, Dallas needs somebody to step up and be clutch. How about Tommy Jones? He delivers. 
right on, on cue. Amleto Monicelli, Randy Peterson here in the booth. It looks like that right lane is a little tricky. What is your team trying to do specifically on that right lane? Well, uh, considering that they're a little hooking more in the front and a little sharper backhand, uh, three of my guys are using different balls today to actually get that a little smoother reaction of the spot. And uh, AJ and uh, Anderson is the only ones that are using the same ball as yesterday. Thank you, Amaletta. You're welcome. AJ Johnson. Right. Ten pan. Right. He liked it. Good shot, good shot. Really Great did. Shot, Wow, that, that, that's Great pretty amazing with a rev rate that high. And this shot looks pretty good. And AJ leaves a, one of the flattest tens you'll see. And I think that just goes back to what Amleto said with the front part of the lane see. being a little stickier. That's definitely going, going to cause bowling balls to hit a little weaker. You don't want the fronts to get sticky. Never. Ever. Ten pin got it cross lane, single on, pin, spare conversion. Right, well, hey, this is where Brad Miller needs to step up and do something for these strikers. He's working on a strike. He can cut the deficit to two. He needs to step up and strike right here. He's got four so far in the 2020 PBA League. Portland, the Lumberjacks won the Anthony Division Championship earlier tonight. They're in the final tomorrow night. Which team joins them? Miller, can he step up? Yes! D. Livers. Great shot. Way to go. Way to go. That was good. Exactly what he needed to do, and he did it. Back to Ruiz. Energetic, emotional, and bowling really well for Las Vegas. Il Demaro. Yeah! Yes! pick me up, baby. Next shot. Another trip for the high rollers. Lady Luck. Don't fail me now. The strikers are looking for the cooler to come in and get some of this right. luck out of the hands of the yeah! high rollers from Las Vegas. Way to pick me up, baby. Next shot. You know what a cooler is? Yeah. Yeah, did you see the movie? I did, it was yeah, fantastic. Yeah, pretty neat. All right, Nick Pate, see if he can help Dallas take the lead. Yes, sir. Nicely done, nicely done, Nick Pate. Great one. Great He's shot. been rock solid for the strikers. That's a three-bagger now for Dallas. And guess what, Dave Ryan? We've got a new leader. Dallas, as Randy said, in pretty much a do-or-die situation. Second half, second game, lost game one. Had to get a strike streak going. They've got the turkey. Here comes Tease. Take the lead right back for Las Vegas. Avoids oh, oh, the 7-10. It was hey, awfully shot. close shot. to shot. a shot. disastrous shot for Tease. He went down to one knee and liked that Turn shot. Down. Almost paid the price. Watch this action. Oh, that was close. Late tap, late nudge on yeah. the seven. Late. All right, Matt score now. For hey, the high rollers, 229, 247. You can see the max score is right there, folks. I think if Norm Duke strikes right here in the ninth frame, I think Dallas ties this up and we go to overtime. No stroke. Two, four instead for Norm. And now they can lose it. Norm's ball reaction, not very good tonight.
Covers has the mark. Mm. But things remain very God, interesting in game two. God, I love that too. Jesus. Heard Norm say, really like this shot. Lavoie. Fourth position, ninth frame. Second game. See you right. See you right. Yeah! Oh my. Great shot. Well, I think he was pretty fortunate there. But you know what? Doesn't matter what I think. That's a strike. And no matter what Bill O'Neill does in the 10th frame, he cannot hey, shut out here, the high rollers. Run. Caught just enough of the 1-3 to tickle the rest over. Bill O'Neill right now striking out. Give Dallas 225. You got to be oh. Seven pin. The late bump. I was, was going to say, you got to be kidding me. All right, so whatever Bill O'Neill does here in the 10th frame, realistically, Andrew Anderson has to do the same thing. If Bill doubles and gets just decent count, Andrew Anderson has to double. And it comes down to the anchor bowlers. And always interesting lineup change. And Leno Monticelli trusting Andrew Anderson, likes the ball reaction, what he saw from his young right-handed star in that first game. O'Neal. Yes. Boom. That's why they call him the real deal. Absolute clutch. Bill O'Neill comes through for the Dallas Strikers. What could have been if Norm struck in the ninth frame, we would be going to OT. But as it sits right now, Andrew Anderson's going to have to throw two strikes in the tenth frame if he doesn't. We're going to extra frames. There's a roll off here right now. Get them all anyway. Get them all anyway. Okay. Nice job, William. Job. Remember, job, huh? Las Vegas high rollers switched their anchor bowler. Right, they moved Frankie Lavois into the number four spot and moved Andrew Anderson to anchor. He needs two strikes and seven. To join Portland in tomorrow night's Elias Cup championship match. Anything less, going to a roll off. First shot, Anderson needs it. Gets oh. it, there's one. Oh. Wow. I mean, just wow, another real light hit. Check this out. This is when you know it's good, clean living. This is when you know oh. you might want to hop on a private jet and fly oh. to Vegas tonight. Got to have the next one. Tell you what, pretty good game they bowled on this tricky right lane. A couple of nice breaks, trip fours, a couple light hits that struck. Got the first. How about the second? Oh, no. My. Oh, my Seven pin. Did you see that hit? Was that almost a 5-7 standing up? Crazy. Dallas wins the game. Watch this. That looks pretty good. Five pin just <laughs> didn't know what to do. We're going to extra frames. Here comes the roll off. You hear the bell. I really like that. Hiring well, the folks up at Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine. That's their tradition for the roll off. And here we go. One ball. Billy's going on the left. Sudden victory roll off. Bill O'Neill start on that left lane for Dallas. He's going to take a re rack first. I wonder who's going to throw the first shot. Frankie Lavoie looks like he's going to throw the shot for the high rollers. He looks prepped. Definitely Lavoie. Remember O'Neill coming off of a three bagger that he threw in the 10th frame to give his team a chance. Nothing quite like this moment. Everything on the line. One ball roll off. High drama. 
at the PBA League. The real deal. Get started with a strike. Let's see what you got. Yeah. I like it. Another beauty from Bill O'Neill. And now Frankie Lavoie must strike. Nobody better here, Frankie. One good pitch, bud. Come on. No strike. We'll continue the roll-off. Anything less, Dallas wins to make the championship match. It's all up to Francois Lavoie. <laughs> Delivers! I don't know. What a great Frankie shot down. Frankie just threw there. That was Come absolutely on. spectacular. Wow! And the roll-off continues. Great shot, fella. Absolutely flush label that one. Calling up a PBA League rookie, Nick Pate, to throw the next shot for Dallas. Interesting selection. Pate's been good tonight. Roll off, rolls on, no. Pate. No. Seven pin. No. Mm. Nine. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice uh, shot. Unlucky. So Andrew Anderson going to step bud. up. One great shot. A strike wins the match. He can redeem himself right here. For the win, Anderson. Yes, yes! indeed. Oh! High Rollers win it. Vegas will play Portland tomorrow night for the PBA League Championship. What a finish. Woo! Nice to see players come back and redeem themselves. Andrew Anderson did just exactly that. He had a chance to win it in regulation. We go to overtime, and he nails it to win for the Las Vegas High Rollers. Great shot, Andrew. To Kimberly with the happy high rollers. This is a very excited team right here, guys. So, Andrew, hey, let me talk to you real quick. So, walk us through that roll off. Yeah, I mean, uh, after my 10th frame, it was definitely no question Frankie should probably go first. I, I thought I had that lane pretty good. I definitely didn't have it as good as I thought. Frankie threw a great one and gave us a chance. And, you know, it's a lot easier to throw a shot after somebody gets nine than it is after they get 10. Nick threw a great shot. And uh, I had to make up for my 10th frame, so I threw the best one I had, and thankfully they all fell. Well, you made up for it, indeed you did. And AJ, you guys are a new team. Did you guys think when you came into the PBA League that you would be taking out two-time champions of the Elias Cups and heading to the championship matches tomorrow night? You know, we, uh, we got a lot of experience on this team. We got a lot of great bowlers on this team. We got an even better manager. So I, uh, I knew that as long as we stuck together and stuck to our game plan, Anything's possible, and we took the mindset that we don't care who we bowl. We're just going to throw 10 great shots and let the rest take care of itself. Well, you guys have worked hard for this. You guys are heading to the championship matches tomorrow night. Let's go, boys! What a night of bowling, Kimberly. Thanks. High Roller's going to celebrate for now. Randy, we're set for the championship match tomorrow night. Yes, we are. The Fennec champ, Lumberjacks, and the High Rollers. It's going to be great to watch. You can watch it right here at FS1 tomorrow night at 7 Eastern. Now for Randy Peterson, Kimberly Pressler, and the entire crew, it's Dave Ryan saying so long from PBA League, the Elias Cup in Centerville, Virginia. You've been watching the PBA on FS1. What a night of bowling. The Fennec champ, Portland is through. Expansion Las Vegas is through to the championship match tomorrow night. Be sure to join us on FS1 at 7 Eastern. Portland, Vegas, for the Elias Cup. See you then.